Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, we'll be looking at how to build a complete recipe app using Flutter and Riverport. This app will feature recipes as well as the ability to save recipes as favorites. We have the home page which displays a list of recipes under various categories. So we first have recommended for you and then we have recipe of the week. Now at the top here, we also have category section, which allows us to view recipes under each category. So you have chicken, desserts, lamb, um, pork, seafood, starter. I mean, we have a list of categories over here. Now when I click on any of these categories, it will take me to a page um, which displays a list of recipes under that particular category, right? And from here, I can tap on any recipe that I want to know more about. So for instance, uh, let me just click on this. And this will take me to a page where I have instructions regarding that recipe, as well as the ingredient needed to prepare that particular recipe. So I can add this to my favorites like this, and this is going to be stored locally on the device as I mean, a favorite recipe. I also have the ability to watch a video on how to prepare this particular recipe. So if I click on watching video, this should take me to um, a YouTube video, um, maybe allow. And this YouTube video talks about how to prepare this particular um, recipe. So let's get back to our app. And then go back, right? Um, from here, I have recommended for you. So seeing law will just show more recipes that have been recommended for us. Right? And just like in the, on the previous page, I can tap on a recipe here. This is going to take me to a page where I see the recipe, instructions, and then ingredients. I also have a list of tags over here, depending on if the recipe has some kind of um, tags, right? So. Let me try to show you guys a little bit around. So as you can see, we have some tags over here. Breakfast, um, hangover food, blah, blah, blah. And then we have the ability to also read more. So by default, we are going to uh, trim these instructions because they are mostly a lot. And then we are going to hide them under read more. So when I click on read more, we have a button machine that we can scroll to see the whole process. Right. And we can also watch our video or add it to our favorites. Now, when I come back here, um, I would like to visit another recipe. So let's say this, add it to my favorites, and then we'll go back. Right. So this is going to be basically the whole page with the ability to search for recipes as well. So if I come here and then just type anything, I don't know what I'll type, but just something like this. Right. I get a list of suggestions. And then I can click on this and this is going to take me to a page. Once again, I'm going to add this to my favorites and then come back. Now, when I come to the favorites tab, I should see the list of recipes arranged like this, right? So um, I have the first recipe I added under desserts. I have um, the second one and then we don't have any more recipes. So it's moved something like this, right? And if I'm to unlock all this as favorites, go back, remove this, go back, remove this, and we go back and remove this. Realize that we don't have any favorites over here. So if I come home, click on the recipe, add it to my favorites, this under seafood, I realize that clicking on any of this is going to take us to that particular recipe. So if we come to seafood and seafood category should be here, we can add more recipes under that particular category. And they are going to be arranged like this. So as you can see, we have the images arranged like this, which look very, very nice here. Uh, if we add one more or two other Recipe, so I'm going to add this and then this as well. 
when we go to our favorite and realize that we have uh, the recipes, the first two recipes, we have the third one, and then we have the number of recipes that cannot be shown here. So plus two more. Click on the English text text to the exact recipe. And then we can click on this plus two recipes to go to a list of favorite seafood recipes, right? And from here, we can still go back to that recipe. We can even remove it from the list. I'm going to unfavorite it, go back and realize that it is no longer there. It shows plus one. So these are all things that we'll be building. I will be building all these features from scratch, like pull to refresh. So for instance, if I pull to refresh, I get a new set of um, recipes, right? I can approve to refresh each time. And then I get new set of recipes, right? Which have instructions here and then ingredients as well. So if you are interested to build this um, full app from scratch with me, as well as learn Riverport alongside, because we'll be looking at Riverport um, from scratch as well then please hit the like button um subscribe so that when i release the subsequent videos you'll be notified and then let's start working on this together thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one